Hello, my friends. I mean you. Yes, you. Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. Today is finally the day where we can share with you the release of the 2023 digital compact cassette done by the DCC Museum in collaboration with High Fashion Music. It is divine called Extended, long versions only on DCC. After the award-winning Johnny Gita Watts and Jochen Gerrits at High Fashion Music asked us to take a look at his catalog to see what the new release potentially could be for this year. And when I saw Divine on that list, it immediately took me back to 1983, where I was 15 and I was allowed to go out for the first time to a disco called Galaxy in the Netherlands. It was there where I saw Divine live for the very first time. And it is an honor to be able to release that music from that period and that era on digital compact cassette. Ben Liebrand joined with a special remix, rework and a dub mix only available on digital compact cassette. There is also a version available on 12 inch that's already released by high fashion music on beautiful pink and black vinyl as a 12 inch. But we focused on the longest version on digital compact cassette. I immediately also had a vision on what I wanted to do of that super disco era. It was a disco ball with a variety of releases. So we come out with three different releases for Digital Compact Cassette. First of, of course, it's like I've shown you the Digital Compact Cassette with over an hour, the longest version done by Divine. Then the second release that we're doing is the Patreon release. I call that the coffee table release because the artwork and the DCC is inside a floating coffee table piece, discussion piece that you can put on your table. And the third one, we call it the Patreon Disco Ball Edition. We worked nearly a year and a half on this. It is a full glass seven inch disco ball, as you can see, with the vine on top. And it will actually open up and inside you see Divine's face. The artwork round is on the inside of the globe. And as you can see inside, there are not one, but two releases. One is of course the exact copy of the original DCC that I just talked about. But the other one is a analog cassette. For the first time, we were able to do that. We've been discussing and advising people never to play any analog cassettes on a digital compact cassette deck. Inside the analog cassette is the same tape as used in the digital compact cassette, the BASF 5021. So it's chrome videotape that will not shed and is absolutely safe for your DCC deck. Ian Reed Fink was able to master it so that it would sound perfectly and all of these recordings are done on our Nakamichi Dragons. So on the extra album on Analog Cassette are three different songs, one done by Ben Liebrand and two extra remixes. The DCC itself has 11 tracks. One of them is on 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. So it's a hybrid album again, just like previous albums we've done. This is very special because it was the first time we also use artificial intelligence because the master tracks did not include a multi-track that Ben Liebrand needed to create a rework. The result is absolutely fantastic in a long mix over eight minutes. I really hope you enjoy that. The artwork was done by Jeremy Hayden. The inside is all done by 3D printing. This globe is hand built. It's made out of 450 different pieces that were hand built. And there is a really interesting story behind it because when we first started on this project, I wanted to make sure that we actually had a globe. So you start looking at foam disco balls that we would got open that didn't really work. And then we found a manufacturer that was able to do a glass disco ball with a metal inside. So we bought four or five pieces. We started working 3D printing. And then when we were about eight months into the project, 
that manufacturer <laughs> ceased to exist. So the globes were no longer available to us. And we've been looking for months, couldn't find a replacement. And for the lack of it, we started to seriously consider to manually build them. I've done four or five, as you can see in this video. And then when we were close to going into manufacturing ourselves, we found another supplier that was able to give us the same quality glass globes as seen here. Three different editions, two of them exclusively for Patreons, the coffee table edition and the Patreon disco ball edition. The DCC itself will also be available on other channels as well. So we hope you enjoyed this music as much we had in creating it. Thanks to all the team members at the DCC Museum for helping us. I cannot thank you enough. And again, it's become an annual tradition to add now the eighth album onto our wall of music. There you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.